A place to belong. We all want that. And now women right here in Indianapolis finally have that. Women that have been left feeling empty and worthless after getting paid for sex. But they're beginning to feel whole again thanks to one woman who knows the struggle firsthand. From the moment we opened our doors, it's just been on. Laughter. <laughs> and light fills the dream house. It has just been beautiful every day. In the matter of months, 859 North Parker Avenue blossomed into something beautiful. We first showed you what this place looked like back in October of 2018. You saw it before, and it was such a mess, and it was so broken and discarded, and and it was just rubble. This place is me. This place is every woman who enters. Look what can happen when you say, this is worth it. And I'm gonna put in the effort and I'm gonna put in the love and finances and the sweat and the blood and the tears and the prayer and the community and, and all of the people who've come alongside the stream. When you, when you do those things, Look what God can do. The Dream House opened its doors in January of 2019. That's when Stephanie Jeffers' dream came true. She built a safe place where women wrapped up in prostitution can turn to for help. Seven women walked through this door on day one. One of them was Gloria. And I wanted help. Gloria turned to Stephanie, knowing she had turned her life around. They knew each other because they used to strip in the same club together. For Gloria, it started decades ago when she was just 15 years old. She says she's tried other programs, but nothing really worked until this place and these women. How has it helped me? It's done more than anything is in my life. I mean, I'm already off drugs and alcohol, clean and sober. Um, I have my relationship with God's growing. I have a real job. Um, I can fill again. I can trust enough trust to step into the light. I was very aware of how much light is in the house, just so full of warmth and laughter and something that transcends the people. Too often of what she said is like, you know, light can is exposing. So I think to, to come into a place that is full of light, where light brings exposure, but it's in a really good way and it's in a safe way and it doesn't matter what is exposed because whatever is exposed is okay here. Case managers Laura Coonrod and Christy Cox say all they do is show up for these women, but they really do way more than that. They serve the women lunch, they play games, they listen and they don't judge. So far about 30 women have come to the dream house craving this escape. I really mm -hmm. feel like it's successful whether there's one woman around the table or, you know, 11. They want nothing from me. I don't have to pay to come here. I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is show up. Do you know what that's like? I've never experienced that. Just me. Not what I can offer. Not what I can do for you. Just me. That's freaking awesome feeling. And Stephanie feels like her dream isn't the only one that will come true. It's been so incredible to see women begin to strive for something, um, to go for scholarships for college, to set dates to walk out of the industry, to um, setting goals and, and seeing them come true. It has been amazing to see, to see lives begin to change. Right now, the Dream House is open three days a week. They serve lunch for the ladies at 11 on those three days during mm -hmm. the week. Um, but truthfully, Stephanie and her staff are here for these women 24-7. Right. She's a ray of sunshine. This place is a ray of sunshine. I mean, she, they talked about the light that comes into this place, and it's more than just the sunlight and the yeah. rays of sunshine. It's just something that transcends the people. Right. It's such a perfect metaphor for what these women really need in their life, just <laughs> something to keep them going and get motivated. And mm -hmm. you can change your life no matter what. No matter what, at any point, too. So we encourage everyone to do that. And also, yeah. if you have a ray of sunshine in your life that you would like us to feature, and uh, just help us spread the positivity that is in this world that we so often don't get to hear a lot about yes. because people say you know, the news is bombarded with negative news. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, tr we're not trying to report on all the negative things going on, so contact us to share the positive here in central Indiana. Yeah, we want to tell a good story. We do. And you do a great job of doing that. Thank you.